ATIA 101. Factoring quadrilaterals. Um, when we uh, multiplied binomials, so when we had x plus 5 times x plus 2, we did what was called FOIL. F O I L. Let's remind you. So the first is x times x, so that's x squared. Then we add the outsides, which is x times 2, 2x. Two then we add the insides, which is 5 times x, and then we add the last 2, 5 times 2, which is 10. When we add the like terms, we get x squared plus 7x plus 10. This first term is the product of the first two numbers. So the first numbers within our parentheses. Then <coughs> this one is the product of the last two numbers. So the last numbers here is five, 7 times 2. And this number right here, this just the 7, is the sum of the last two numbers. So notice here that we have 5 times 2 is 10, that's the product. But if we add 5 plus 2, we get a 7. So in order to factor, we kind of have to remember this part of our quadrilateral. So let's, I'm going to show you an example. Factor x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we know that the first one is the product of the first two numbers. So we know we have to have an x at the beginning then we want to find two numbers that add to 5 and multiply to 6. So two numbers that add to 5 and multiply to 6. So let's look at numbers that multiply to 6. We have 1 and 6, but they add to 7. And 2 times 3 is 6, and they add to 5. So it's 2 and 3. And since they're all plus, we're just going to put plus signs there. So that is factored. We're going to do another one. Factor x squared minus 7x plus 6. So our first terms are going to be x. Notice that we're going to multiply to 6 and add to negative 7. So if we are multiplying to 6 and adding to a negative number, they're probably both going to be negative because when you multiply two negatives, you're going to get a positive. So I know I'm going to have negatives here. So I need to have, to get to 6, we could do negative 1 times negative 6. Those two add to negative 7, so we're done. So negative 1 and 6. So I put my negative here negative 6. So the last ones will multiply to positive 6 and then we could add them to get negative 7x. And that's the end of the lesson.